Here's a look at the UEFI BIOS that is combined with the uh, MSI AADX motherboard. Uh, as you can see, they use the same uh, Click BIOS 2 that you've seen on a lot of their other motherboards. Um, the UEFI interface that you can use the mouse uh, brings you up to this default screen here. Um, now you can select Eco Mode, Standard Mode, OC Genie 2 Mode that will actually set some default settings and you know either highlight or turn some things on and off um, so you can you know just change specific settings if we go into the main settings here we have our system status um, if we go back we have our advanced tab that lets us do the PCI subsystem, ACPI, integrated, integrated graphics USB, hardware monitoring, power management, wake event, all the alternative settings. If you go into the overclock settings, this is where um, your actual CPU, RAM, uh, turbo core, all that stuff, all your actual in-depth settings are. If we scroll down here, we have the advanced DRAM configuration, digital power, which lets us change uh, VDROOP offsets, OCP expanders, switching frequency and duty control, similarly seen on Intel motherboards. We scroll down, we get our voltage changes, and then they also have uh, overclocking profiles, uh, specific specs, memory Z to see the SPD settings, and then if we go into our CPU features, here's where we can change our AMD features, cool and quiet, C state, etc. Now if we go into the energy saving tab, this is for the EUP 2013 phase controls. Um, they've also, if you install the um, WinKey, you can do the internet browsing and mail uh, through the UFI BIOS. We have the Easy Flash uh, where you can actually do backup, live updates, and um, flashing from USB keys, and then just our general uh, security tab.